Hello to everybody. So today we're going to install season six a new online server. Same way, same system, but you need to get a new net framework and Visual Plus Plus as well. So let's go to the host first. I put the files over here. Make sure you first install the Visual Plus Plus and the net framework from this link over here. And Winner or setup, of course, if you use first time, and uh, make sure you know how to do these three steps as well. When you're done with this, the tutorials are every video tutorials about these three things here is over here. If you've done this, let's go to the host. So, this is a new server folder. We're going to computer C and go to C and make a new folder, a new online C06, for example. I'm gonna copy paste the files in there. The client is already on the desktop. I put it also on my computer. So we're going to database. We're gonna copy the path. I'm going to SQL Server Management Studio now. I'm gonna remove any previous databases if I have and click close co existing connections. So you have no issues and remake a new line. Ranking and events. So, all right. So now we have this on the files. We have database. We have scripts. We don't need me and more line unless you want to make a server, second server on the same computer and things like that. You can research on that later on. Go to your line folder and run the script. Okay. Now you can change to new line and execute. Then you can do the same with rankings and events. Go to events, go to rankings, close SQL. So now your server is um, running. Here you have a script for summoner and rage fighter. You can make them, you know, so you can create them from level one, for example, here and here. You just run the script to a mu online and that's it other than that we go into the files now and yeah we're gonna just do this setup go to the other server this file here egcds scroll level down here will it will say s6 s6 change it to mu line here will say it will say something uh, in terms of mu line if I remember right, just change it to SA username and password. As you see, I wrote here everything that I needed. Then I got this here and I scroll a little bit down, and the SQL server name should be also that here. And yeah, this is it. Save it and go then back to connect server, server list, edit. Here it will say your IP. Just put your IP, obviously. So every every MU line files have this similar thing. This folder is for the launcher. And this folder is for the news for the server. How often and everything like that. You can research those files later on. A game server, you have nothing here to check or here. This one is not needed. You don't have to run it. It's all together, but no need. Just these two. And then go to data. As you see here, we have just IP list. Don't have to touch it, please. Wherever you see a uh, default IP 127.0.0.1, don't touch it. Go to IGC data. Over down, there should be a map server info. Right click, edit. And yeah, you got here. It, it will say your IP. Put your IP, as you see this by IP. And now, server is running. Please read this too. And let's run it. I'm gonna start the data server. Allow access. Do the same with the connect server. And this one and the castle siege one. And of course you have to allow access. So you see everything is running very smooth. If you want to secure your ports and make you know make it more not so easy to to attack and everything. Just check the, my my other tutorials uh, on this 
on this channel on this platform and it will help you very much to secure your ports and open the right ones now we have the server is running we go to the folder go line s6 tools we have this server info editor double click it you have this here now we need to put this in there so file open server info so this is your IP that you need to put here you need to put your IP 164, 32, 134, 21 and put the quad zone now you have every you have just some more here things that you can configure like if you say one here then it will it will open after your main X and uh, move X for example and save it like this you know but we don't need all these complicated things right now if I click file save save and replace and now we're gonna take this but before we take this we're gonna go open to uh, open the IGC essential tool and go to config and do all this here first this is very important so SQL password and we got this is our SQL server which will be here usually local works as well but if it doesn't then you should put this one okay now you click Control S save and let's see if it opens yes so it said that it was my first time running reopen it this time we click no and here it is right click accounts and let's create an account tester tester la 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 it's finished here you can just edit things i don't know create a cartel la 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 and here's your character and then you can edit your character directly and make him whatever level and whatever simple as that so now i'm gonna close everything i'm gonna go back to this file that i just created go to client data local and paste it over here and replace i'm gonna do the same on my client on my computer so we open it here data local here and we made an account right so make sure you also install this one so you can run the client remember that so run the main X then let the client open so this is something that you can change I already showed you click on the server if it says a new version that means it's a very quick change don't worry quick fix um, simply open the tool here again open it again the BMD file and go to the game server and you see here 17885 and we got here something else 17885 that's what needs to be done there let's save it boom now it should be working perfectly I'm gonna close afterwards this window because we are finished oops data local exactly and now I am in I'm gonna go in the game and show you that it worked tester tester we create a character as well as well so as you see everything is working everything is nice here running and yeah thank you very much for watching come join and visit us on this websites for any assistance or support